Hello everyone, welcome to Explorer Hop. For this example, we're told to evaluate the indefinite integral below using long division. And we're given the integral of the function x cubed plus 2x squared plus 2x plus 3 all over x plus 1. We can see that it is very difficult to integrate this rational function directly using the methods we've already learned which is why we will perform long division first to make the function easier to integrate. Also, we can see that the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator, which is also why we can perform long division. So let's set up the long division. The dividend is the numerator x cubed plus 2x squared plus 2x plus 3. And the divisor is x plus 1. Now we'll quickly perform long division. So first we see that x squared times x gives us x cubed. So we'll write down x squared and x squared times x is x cubed. x squared times 1 is x squared. So we add x squared. Now we subtract. x cubed minus x cubed is 0. 2x squared minus x squared is x squared. Then we bring down the 2x. Now we see that x times x gives us x squared. So we'll write down plus x, then x times x is x squared, x times 1 is x. Then we subtract again, x squared minus x squared is 0, 2x minus x is x. Then we bring down the 3, so plus 3. And of course, 1 times x gives us x, so we'll write down 1. So 1 times x is x, and 1 times 1 is 1. So plus 1, and subtract. And this gives us 2, which is the remainder. So this means that x cubed plus 2x squared plus 2x plus 3 over x plus 1 is equal to x squared plus x plus 1, which is the quotient, plus the remainder, which is 2, over the divisor, which is x plus 1. Now we can go ahead and rewrite the integrand. So the integral of x cubed plus 2x squared plus 2x plus 3 over x plus 1 dx is equal to the integral of x squared plus x plus 1 plus 2 over x plus 1 dx. And applying the sum slash difference rule and constant multiple rule, we get that this is equal to the integral of x squared plus the integral of x plus the integral of x to the 0 plus 2 times the integral of 1 over x plus 1. Now, to find the antiderivative of 1 over x plus 1, we can apply the method of substitution. So we'll let u be equal to x plus 1, which means that du is equal to dx. So the integral of 1 over x plus 1 is equal to the integral of 1 over u du. 
which is equal to ln of the absolute value of u plus some constant c. And subbing u equals x plus 1 back in. This is equal to ln of the absolute value of x plus 1 plus some constant c. Now, putting everything together and applying the reverse power rule to find the antiderivative of the other terms, we get that the integral of x squared dx plus the integral of x plus the integral of x to the 0 plus 2 times the integral of 1 over x plus 1 dx is equal to x cubed over 3 plus x squared over 2 plus x plus 2 times ln of the absolute value of x plus 1 then plus some constant c. And this gives us the antiderivative of our rational function. Therefore, the integral of x cubed plus 2x squared plus 2x plus 3 over x plus 1 is equal to x cubed over 3 plus x squared over 2 plus x plus 2 times ln of the absolute value of x plus 1 plus some constant c. And that's it for this example. Thank you for joining us. See you in the next lesson.